Why is the brain conditioned? What is this nature of conditioning? Is it essentially experience and knowledge? Please go slowly with this. Experience conditions the brain. Right? Obviously. Agree? Do we meet each other there? And experience means knowledge. Right? To learn a drive a car, you have an experience getting into the car, driving, and gathering through that experience, knowledge, how to drive a car. Is Please listen carefully, if you will, kindly. Is knowledge the basic factor of our conditioning? Knowledge being the repetition of certain tradition. Right? And so on. Knowledge is necessary. Otherwise you can go home. You can drive a car. You can go back to your job, if you have a job. So, knowledge in one area, physical knowledge is necessary. Right? But, Knowledge also conditions our brain. Knowledge being tradition, the being programmed as we are by newspapers, by magazines, by constant repetition that you are British, British, British. Or when you go to France, it's the same old thing, French, French. And when you go to India, again, India. This constant repetition. So the brain becomes dull, repetitive, mechanical, and that perhaps that's a safe way of living. But it has got tremendous dangers. This repetition of various cultures, countries, is an isolating process. And therefore, division, therefore, war. That's only one of the reasons for war. So are we aware that our brain is being programmed? Please don't look at others, look at yourself. If you are aware, if one is aware that one is programmed, conditioned, Then one asks, is it knowledge? And apparently it is knowledge. Right? Then why do we live psychologically? Why is the structure of the psyche essentially based on knowledge? You understand? Am I making the question clear? The psyche, the me, the self, is 
essentially a movement in knowledge, a series of knowledge, which is series of memories. Right? So we are a series of memories. Right? So we are memory. Would you applaud? Do you see that fact? Not that we are divine and you know all that blah that's trotted out by religions. But the actual fact is that we are nothing but memory. Most unpleasant discovery, isn't it? <laughs> or do you say, no, there's part of me which is not memory. Moment when you say that, it's already m- memory. I don't know if you see that. When I say I am not wholly the result of memories, that very statement implies that there is part of me which is not, and that part of me, when I look at it, is also memory. Say it. So, memories of the past. projected perhaps in the future, but is still memory. Those memories are ma- modified by the present and continue into the future, but is still a series of memories. I want if you... Please, don't let us become sentimental about all this. Because that is... So meaningless or romantic. These are facts. What are you without memories? Without all the remembrances of your achievement, of your wife, of your son, of your brother, family? The memories of your travels, what you have done, what you have achieved, right? They're all in the past. So memories are dead things. On those dead things we live. <laughs> 